Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing fine and in good health. I am Annie and I am here to help you with your spoken English, your vocabulary and your communication skills. Today I've got certain tips that will help you increase your vocabulary. Now for those who don't know what vocabulary is, it is the words that you know and use of a certain language. Most of the time you fail to express your idea or express yourself because you just can't find the right words for it. And today I am going to help you with just that. Also before we begin, if you are new to my channel, please watch my other videos too and subscribe. You can also follow me on Instagram, I leave the link in the description below. Okay, so this video isn't going to be the typical read books, read the dictionary kind of video because everybody says this and you should be doing these things. But no, there are certain things that I really want to tell you and I hope you follow these because it will really help you. I want you to start learning in sections. You have to put your time, energy and all your efforts in just these three sections. Section 1. Topics you are interested in. Now there are so many words in the English language and trying to learn all of these words can be so overwhelming. So you need to divide it down. Pick a topic that you are most interested in and start learning from there. For example, if you are interested in photography or cooking, watch photography videos, cooking videos, read articles about it. Read all the things that you can find about on these topics. Because A. It is going to help you increase your vocabulary. B. You are interested in it and C. It is going to help you specifically. So these topics are customized for you. It is not going to be just a passive reading or passive watching of videos because this is something that you are interested in and it will add a value and productivity in your vocabulary. Section 2. Words that you come across every day. Now there are words that you don't know and there are words that you know and you use regularly. So I want you to find alternative words or synonyms for the words that you already know and use. You can refer a thesaurus for this purpose. A thesaurus is a book where you can find words of alternate meanings and their synonyms. There are plenty of thesaurus apps available on your phone so you can just download this. So I would highly recommend you using a thesaurus. What this will do is you will find new words obviously but you will also eventually replace the words that you already use and try to find alternatives for it. The next section is I like to call it a spontaneous section. So the next time you are just wondering or sitting idly, try to focus on your thoughts and be conscious of the words that you use. For example, if you are thinking in your native language, try questioning yourself if you know what that means in English. Try to find out if you can say that in English. So these are the three sections that you need to start picking out words from. I have broken down this so overwhelming process of learning vocabulary and improving your vocabulary in just three sections. So take out the time daily if you really want to benefit from this. Now there are two things that I want to discuss. Firstly, you must have heard a lot of people recommending you to watch movies and TV shows and I recommend that too because it really helps. But there are certain people who sound more educated and more eloquent. So be mindful of the TV shows and series and movies or whatever you are watching. Make sure that the speakers are eloquent, they sound intelligent and educated. If you listen to the good speakers, only then you will be able to become one. Take down the reviews and research on the TV show that you are about to start watching. And lastly, I want you to stop using the most boring word in the English dictionary. Do you know which it is? Very. Very good, very bad and you just 
keep repeating this. Because why say very good when you can say excellent, amazing, fabulous, fantastic? Every time you use the word very, be mindful and try to find alternate words. Because using the word very limits and restricts your vocabulary when you can be using a lot of different and rich words. Alright, so that was my take on how to expand your vocabulary. I hope you really learned something from this. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. You can also follow me on Instagram. I'm always there to help you with all of your doubts. I leave the link in the description. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye guys.